Welcome to Tesla Bytes, where we serve you GIS and small bytes. Today we'll be covering ArcGIS Portal, Configuring Operations Dashboard, Part 1. In this video, I will show you how to create a dashboard from a web map. Then we will explore some of the available elements to start building out our app. And finally, we will configure these elements. So I have here a web map that I put together for all of the traffic incidents in Austin, Texas for the year 2020. And I would like to create a dashboard to allow users to interact with this data. So to create a dashboard, all I need to do is go to Share, click Create a Web App, open the Operations Dashboard tab, and here I can fill out some information about this app before creating it in my content. Once I have all the information filled out, I'll click Done. Once the dashboard template comes up, we can start to configure it in a way that we would like with the different element tiles available. To add these elements, all we have to do is click the plus sign in the drop down, and you'll see the list of all of the elements that we can add to this app. We can add a title header, and we can even add an additional map and map legend. We can add a serial chart and pie chart, a count indicator, as well as even embed content such as images and videos. The first element we'll add will be the indicator. To add the indicator element, we'll select the indicator option here and we'll configure this element with our traffic incident data, so we'll select it. The first thing we want to show is the total active count. To do that, we'll stay on this page and select Filter. Select the field that we want to filter, in this case Status, and we'll say equal to Active. And you can see based on this filter, we currently have one active traffic incident. The next count that we want to show will be a reference count, and this will be the total number of traffic incidents that have occurred today. To do that, we will say reference type is a statistic. We'll add a filter. For this, we'll select the published date, and then is today. So right now, we have the two numbers, one representing the active counts and the total number of traffic incidents occurring today. Well, let's add some text to explain what these numbers are. To do that, we'll go over to the Indicator button over here, and this will open another page where we can further configure this element, like so. Now that this element is configured with our traffic counts, we'll go ahead and click Done, and it will be added to our dashboard. You'll notice immediately that this tile gets added, and it takes up half our screen. We really want this tile to be a small element in our dashboard, and it will be one of many. If you hover over the dashboard, you'll see that the blue box appears, and inside this blue box, there are some configuration buttons. The first one here will allow us to move and drag our items to different locations within the app. The next option is configure, and here we can go back to that configuration page to further refine this element if necessary. We can duplicate this, and then we can also delete this element. I'd like this element in the top right corner of this app, so I'm going to click the drag item option and drag it over. And you'll notice that these pop-up windows appear to help guide me where I can place this element. To have it docked on the right side of the window, I will select these rectangles and drop it here. Now that I have this first element count indicator in place, I can easily add other elements to this pane, such as pie chart. To add a pie chart to our app, we'll just go and add a new element and select pie chart and select our data. And here we can configure the chart. So I'd like this chart to show all of the different types of traffic incidents that have been reported. To do that, I'll keep this categories from as grouped values. And the grouped value category field will be our reported incidents, which is issue reported. You'll see that we immediately get a chart built with these configurations. But I need to do a little cleanup before I'm ready to add it to our app. The first thing I'd like to do is actually convert this pie chart to a donut chart with a hole in the middle. To do that, I can go to the chart setting. To create this as a donut chart, I just go into this inner radius and set it to 50. I'd also like to clean up these labels. To do that, I can go to the slices tab. And here you'll see all of the category names as well as the labels. So I can change the labels in these windows here, like so. Now you'll notice that we have way too many labels to really be able to distinguish anything on this chart. I can adjust the number of incidents showing on the chart by scrolling down in this configuration pane and seeing grouping percent. 
If I change this to a number such as 4, this changes our chart to group everything in this other option that was less than 4%. I can also adjust the colors that you see in the chart. The last thing I like to do is allow for users to interact with this chart to use it as a filter on the mapped feature service. To do that, I'll go over to the Actions tab, and you'll see this is where we can configure the feature service. We can set this configuration to when selection changes on this chart to filter our feature service. We'll add the target to be our traffic incident data. And there you have it. Now with my chart completed, I'll go ahead and click Done and have it added to my dashboard. You'll see it added to the left pane like it did previously. So I'm going to go over and select the drag item. And I'm going to have it docked in the previous pane. To do that, I'll drag it over until we have these docking options appear. And to stack items, I could hover over this and the two would be stacked. If I want them right next to each other side by side, I could Whole hover over here. What I'd like to have is this chart to be below that indicator count. To do that, I will come down here and hover over this docking option to dock as a row below. To recap, we created a dashboard from a web map of traffic data. Then we reviewed some of the dashboard elements that can be configured within our dashboard, and finally we started configuring our app with some of the elements. I think this is a great docking point. Be sure to check out our next video in the Operations Dashboard series where we will continue to build out this dashboard with a few additional elements. This has been Tesselbytes, where we serve UGIS in small bytes. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to visit us at www.tessellations.us. Also, subscribe and ring that bell.